Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live from the Sweet and Snack Show. I'm here with Bill. He is the founder. And talk about the product and how did you get the idea to start this? Sure. Um, what we've done is we looked at the snack category, the fruit snack category, and saw the opportunity to develop a healthy snack, one that's made from real fruits and vegetables and not made out of sugars or tapioca syrup. So we got a product that we actually make out of organic apples and a whole range of fruits and vegetables to bring real nutrition to the category. Okay. So what's your background? Uh, really varied. Uh, my last background, I was with Safeway and I was doing their licensing at Safeway. Okay. So this is similar to that role, but an opportunity for my partner and I to uh, develop a healthier snack that's in the category. So we'll talk about what was the first product? This right here, the Jamba Organic Snacks, this is our first product of our pipeline of products for the healthy snack category under the Jamba brand. So we've introduced this product um, two years ago rolled out nationally in the Jamba Juice stores, and then working our way across various retailers and different trades of cha different channels um, across the country. So what are the flavors you have? So we've got a strawberry, a blueberry acai, a mango pineapple, and a uh, raspberry blueberry. So did you come out with all of them at once, or was it a progression? Now we've introduced all of them at once. We introduced both a product for the grocery trade um, the, the smaller pouches that you see normally for lunch boxes, and then a larger bag for grab-and-go convenience. So it's the perfect size for where we're here at the Sheets and Snacks show as we look at convenience and vending and the other opportunities that are there. So how'd you come up with the different flavors? Well, what we did is we worked closely with Jamba Juice to look at the flavor profiles of their top-selling smoothies. So we looked at the top oh. 10 selling smoothies and then to, to looked to bring that into um, a fruit snack profile. So how is it, so your background is in licensing, right? So you have a, a, a really big knowledge base of that. How is it working with Jamba Juice on this project? Jamba's been a great partner. They've got a great brand name that people trust and recognize for health and wellness. Um, they think about real fruits and vegetables. So everyone, that, you know, with the Jamba brand, it brings a smile to everybody's face. Everybody recognizes it. They have great great perspective on it. They either love Jamba Juice or they work to Jamba Juice. That's what I hear all the time when we talk to as consumers. What are some of the challenges? Well, challenges are like anytime you've got a new product, getting out to distribution, making sure consumers are aware of your product. Um, that's why we do a lot of sampling and a lot of events because we want people to try the product. We want them to be able to taste the product, taste the difference, know that we're made from real fruits and vegetables um, and delivering real nutrition. So the biggest challenge is you know, just spreading the word. Yeah, totally. What's uh, the most popular flavor? So it's a strawberry is the most popular, as you normally find in most product categories. But then what's really interesting is the other three flavors are almost equal in their, in their consumer yeah. preference. Yeah. So where can people find on Jamba Juice? What's your website? Mm -hmm. www.jambafruitsnacks.com. And you can find our product. We've got distribution across the country in a number of different channels. Jamba Juice um, uh, stores nationally. Um, then we're also in Walmart, a number of great key independent retailers across the country. Um, Schnooks, hy -Vs, um, different, just any retailer you take a look at. So how is this compared to what you're doing with Safeway? What's life like <laughs> Safeway and then now? Uh, it's actually, you know, it's similar um, in that, you know, really just looking to grow brands grow to bring brands to market and grow brands with consumers, healthy brands. No different at Safeway um, with a, a subsidiary, a wholesale subsidiary there that um, did the licensing. And so Safeway was just a customer, as was Kroger and Target and Walmart. So it's a similar similar background at that way. Yeah. yeah. What's been a proud moment for you in this journey? It seems like, so you guys have been around for a couple of years. Yeah. And when I see it, I feel like you've been around forever. Yeah. So... The that's packaging and what you've done with it is, how did you come up with that? So that's actually a, a really a great observation because that's the beauty of the, of the license of the Jamba brand. 
So everyone recognizes it, it makes everybody smile, um, and that's how we want to bring that out and bring that to market. But it's just been it's just been fun. Proudest moment I take a look is just seeing consumers pick my product up off the shelf, or even just being here at the show floor with people sampling the product, just saying, wow, this is great. People just love the product. Awesome. Yeah. Bill, thank you, and once again, just repeat so people can check it out online. Where should they go? www.jambafruitsnacks.com. Awesome. Check it out. Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.